So now that you've updated your console or your TF rack to 4.0, you're going to want to go out to the App Store and update your Stage Mix to 4.0 as well, because we've added some new features there. I want to show them to you now. So we launch the, uh, the app, and you'll see the normal screen you guys are used to seeing on the Stage Mix from before. But we've added a lot of really kind of cool features. Some of the first things we did were uh, the ability to have sends from right on these faders. The idea here is that you could have any single input feed every output from this screen. You want to think that through, it'd be really nice if you could talk to people on their in-ears. On stage, you could use a talkback mic and talk to them directly, and you just scroll through to find that person that you want to send it to, push up the fader, push it down, you could go like that. This is really a handy tool in, in that respect, and you saw how I got to it by using this swipe up here, like so, or you can always go to it from down here and find send to at the bottom on your um, tabs at the bottom of your screen as well. Next we did um, a request a lot of you had was to move the ability to record the USB on your console directly to your hard drive um, via the app. So now you can fire the recorder or fire playback directly from your uh, app. So you go to Utility, and your recorder is now an app here. And you'll notice there's an area here where all of your files would reside. So you could pick your songs and allow them to be played, or arm recording from right here as well. This is really handy to have when you're out in the audience doing those minor tweaks, but you need to run the playbacks. Uh, so you'll have that really close by by doing this. Um, another thing we did under Utility is user-defined keys. We came up with six more user-defined buttons. You're used to seeing those on the hardware surface of your TF mixer or your TF rack. But now we've got six more that are available for you right here on the app. And you can have anything that you can do on the mixer, you can do on these user-defined keys. Um, and once you program these, uh, and you're finished programming, it's easy enough to find them. They live under the tab at the bottom, and uh, there's, there are your hotkeys. They're always ready for you once you program them. Only other thing that I wanted to show you on here was the ability to have a, a separate custom layer. You're familiar, again, if you used the TF custom layer feature before to restrict the number of faders on a, on a uh, surface. Um, we have that same feature again available on the app. This is really nice if you're out in the crowd again and mixing and you only want a couple of things up there for tweaking, you, we have a separate custom layer. And to get there, you go up to the metering area in the top of your screen and swipe up and you'll find yourself on your own custom app. And I made on this layer uh, all, only the outputs that I wanted to mess with and my stereo levels. So these were things that I would leave on this custom layer and then I don't have to worry that I might disturb a really fragile vocal setting or something like this if I was out in the crowd. So this is a really handy tool. It also will help you bring up um, volunteers and first time users. You'll give them uh, less faders to worry about and they'll be able to, to get around on it much easier. So make sure to get out to the App Store to update your, um, your iPad, and uh, you'll be ready to go with 4.0, both in the console and out wirelessly. Thanks for watching the video. We hope you get a lot out of your TF console.